All right. So, so what's your name? Brian Bailey. Bailey. Okay. Um. So you had cancer, right? Yes. Um. How did you come up about finding you had cancer? Um. My mom looked at my leg and was like, "Hey, you had cancer." And I was like, oh, "Okay, cool." Really? Yeah, really. I told you I'd make it difficult on you. Okay, you want to you want to you make this straightforward? I'll be straightforward. I'll be cool. I'm being real right now. I'll be okay. real, real okay. How did you find out you had cancer? I, I, um, one day a, a bump popped up in my leg, and my mom and I were like, you know, what's what's that all about? We pushed on it, you know, it was kind of soft. We you know, it wasn't like a knot or anything, and so we went to uh, went to the doctor, and found out that it was a tumor, and he sent us to another person, and they ended up sending sending me to my uh, my current um, leg surgeon, which is uh, Dr. Gillespie, and did a biopsy and found out, hey, got cancer. When you found out you had cancer, what ran through your head? I don't know what to think. I was, um... Could you believe it? Could I believe it? Do you think, think it was real? You know, all I knew about cancer at the time was that it was, uh... That, it, you know, it was going to make me go bald. Didn't know more, but once I found out more, it kind of kind of scared me, but I, I never really feared, you know, like, I, that I was going to die. I just was kind of just thinking about all the pain that I was going to have to deal with, you know? Mm -hmm. So. What was the toughest part? The toughest part? Going through it. The toughest part was probably um, it's probably when I was getting sick, when I was throwing up, the chemo, the throwing up. No, the toughest part was when I actually had my surgery, when I got my leg replaced, when I was dealing with that. That was the toughest part. Learning to walk again, losing my leg, the surgeries, the pain after the surgeries. That was that was the toughest part. No, Did you ever regret anything? No, no regrets. Don't regret any of it. And um, how long after chemo um, did you feel you were cancer free? Did you ever worry about it coming back? Nope. I never really, um, I found that, I, you know, I never really thought about it. I never dealt with uh, the mortality factor. You know, never really con was concerned about death and was never really concerned about, um, about it coming back, I just kind of took it all one day at a time, you know. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was my thing. Mm -hmm. So what, what, drive, what drives Brian? What, what's, what's his passion? What's your drive? Uh, those, two, those are two different questions. Pick one. What's your passion? Film. Um, telling stories. What, what motivates Brian Bailey? Well, if I, if I say it like that, that's, that's third person. Uh, what motivates me? What motivates you? That's actually a damn good question because I don't even know what motivates me. Um, I, I guess I guess my person. I guess my passion is what drives me. You know, to complete what I want to complete with the goals I've set forth for myself, which are uh, I want to I want something about film, something about telling stories. I just really, really, really want to do that, and uh, I want to pursue. I guess I want to I want to pursue my art. That's what I want to do. I want to pursue my thing and my my art. So that's what drives me. That and. Um, you know, I just, I don't, I don't believe in quitting, so there's no point in stopping anything, so. Yeah. So how did you meet me, Scott? How did I run into Scott? How did you run into Scott? How did I run into Scott? I met Scott at camp, at Camp Sanguinity, the, uh, the camp for cancer kids that we went to. And um, he had, I noticed he had an ABT, uh, amputation, and so I asked him, you know, if he had osteosarcoma like me. And he was like, yeah, you know, we got to talking about it a little bit. And before we know, we had a lot of similarities, very different people, but a lot of similarities. And then just kind of led into more and more. And, uh, you know, eventually he hit me up and was talking to me about this book that he had. After Scott, after Scott wrote his book, he was kind of in a rut. He wrote his book, but he didn't have a publisher. Actually, he still doesn't. But Scott wrote his book, and he wasn't sure where to go with it. And, uh, you know, he got to talking to me about it. We have a very similar story. Um, you know, there's a certain point uh, when he was 14, I was 13. You know, I had cancer. He had cancer, and uh, after doing all that chemo and, and everything, there was a there was a point where we had to make a decision whether or not to keep our legs. Scott, being the athlete, chose to go with the route to cut off his leg and get a prosthetic and be active. Me, on the other hand, who was kind of out of his out of his athletic days, you know, the only thing I was really doing at that point was like BMX. Um, you know, I was like, you know, I could probably still do that. If they're like, I was like, can I still ride a bike? That's all I was really concerned about that. And, you know, I, and I want to pursue film. And, you know, there's no, no reason why I wouldn't be able to do that. So, you know, I decided to keep my leg because it was going to be a lot less, a lot less effort. And, you know, I just felt more comfortable with it. And this way, I, I, you know, they were like, if something goes wrong, then you can cut off your leg. 
And I was like, well, you know, if I can keep it, I might as well, right? It wasn't really a question for me, you know, as, as, as much as it might have been for some other people. So, so Scott and I had a similar story. And we got to know each other through this camp that we, that we were both at. We were both went there as campers and eventually became counselors and got to know one another. And uh, he was talking about his book and he was kind of in a rut. And I was like, dude, you know, I do film I, or video, you know, and that's, that's what I'm really into. You know, I, I would love to do something with you. And he was like, really? Yeah, hey, that'd be great. And before we knew it, we started doing, um, started doing a lot of videos and, you know, doing interviews and started getting game footage and stuff and really trying to put, it, trying to put it, the APT thing out there. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's blowing up now. So it's going exactly where we want it to.